Well, the Monroe Police Department is hosting a Bike for Hope event this weekend. Today, we're joined with Captain Staten and Sergeant Wilson. They're going to tell us a little more about the event. Thank you all so much for joining us this well, morning. Thank you for having us. Yes, definitely. First, can y'all tell us a little bit about the event and the reasoning behind it? Uh, the Bike for Hope is an incentive by the Monroe Police Department. We are trying to get more involved with the community. We are trying to bridge the gap between us, the police, and the community to show everyone that we are more than just police officers. We're your friends, we're your family members, we're your church members, we're your neighbors, and we're trying to bridge that gap to bring us close together. Definitely, you're such an important part of the community, so we definitely want to be able to, you know, get closer with y'all and get to know y'all so that we know you're keeping us safe. Um, and, you know, when concerning the event, what are some details that people should know if they want to come out and be involved Saturday? Well, to come out and be involved in the event, what they can do is they can call the station, talk to myself or Captain Staten at 329-2641, or they can reach out to me at 318-512-5091. And also, if they want to come out and ride, if they don't make it to the beginning of the event, which is at B.J. Washington Recreation Center, they can catch along one of the uh, recreation centers along the route. And that's the first one is B.J. Washington. Second one is Emily P. Robinson. The third is Henrietta Johnson Recreation Center. The fourth is Benoit Recreation Center. And we will be ending at the Civic Center with a big rally for everybody who is involved. Awesome. And what time, um, you know, should they get there if they want to join the, in the Well, ride? line up for the beginning is going to begin between 7.30 and 8 o'clock. By 8.45, we are rolling. Bicycles are riding, music is going, police is siren going down the street, on the route, on our way to the Civic Center. Awesome. Fun. Awesome. Is there um, any age requirements or anywhere they should sign up or they should just come out and start riding? Well, the youngest rider needs to be accompanied by an adult and the youngest rider we let them participate, they got to be 12 and older. And anybody under 12, we go no lower than nine because they won't be able to keep up with the route because it's very long, it's seven miles. Okay. And, uh, and for an order for them to keep up, we need, need to be accompanied by an adult at all times. And signing up, there's really no sign-up sheet, but we ask at the end for those who participate to sign our sheet to let them know who participates so they can send out a thanks for those who came out and, and worked out with us. Yeah, awesome, awesome. And that's kind of like the final, I guess, event in y'all's Police Week um, campaign. Uh, are there any other events maybe before the, the Bike for Hope that we need to know about? Yes, ma'am. We have Friday morning between the hours of 7 o'clock and 9 a.m., we are doing a meet and greet for citizens. You can come out and have coffee and donuts with the police officers at the Public Safety Center on 1810 MLK Drive of 165 South tomorrow morning. And that's going to help another meeting we can have just get to inter interact with the citizens. Yeah, look, coffee, donuts, talking to these guys, that sounds like a good, pretty good <laughs> yes, combination to yes, start your Friday yes, morning yes. off. But well, yes. we really appreciate y'all coming out. Definitely, if you want to go get to know the police officers and also join in the bike ride, make sure head out Saturday uh, morning. Sounds like a fun event, I think. Yeah, you know? a great so, way to support the police and yes. get to meet y'all. And definitely, and get a little workout in. <laughs> Seven miles of bike riding. Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma <laughs> well, thank y'all so much. And stick around. We've got more news and weather after the break.